Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us, San Roque. Pray for us, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us, San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate with great joy Pentecost Sunday. God the Father, through Jesus, sends us the Holy Spirit. And with the celebration of Pentecost Sunday, we bring the Easter season to a close. Let us pray in this Mass that we may experience a new Pentecost, May the Holy Spirit come once again upon us to breathe new life into our hearts, to enkindle the fire of love, and to renew the face of the earth, so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love in this Eucharist. Let us now humbly beg the Spirit of forgiveness to renew us and to save us. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful and healing love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them Tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, 
as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one hear them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and convert to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in an old tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in His works, pleasing to Him by my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. They are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body, in one thought, it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please 
Pagpapala, upang kami ay magkusa, kaibigay patnubay, sa amin mananahan ang tamis ng iyong buhay. Ginhawang ninanais, dilim namin sa init, kapiling bawat saglit. Halina Espiritu, sa sinaguha sa iyo. Lubhang banal na ilaw, kami ay iyong silayan ngayon at araw-araw. Kapag di ka nananahan, ay walang kaganapan ang buhay namit dangal. Marumi ay palinisin, lanta ay pananariwain, sakit nami gamutin. Halina Espiritu, sa sinaguhat sa iyo, kami liwanagan mo. Kami gawing matapat sa pag-ibig mag-alab, lagi sa tamang landas, tugunin aming luhog, kami bigyang malugod. Nang yong pitong kaloob, gantimpalay ibigay sa hantungan ng buhay, ligayang walang hanggan. Alina Espiritu, sa sinaguhat sa iyo, kami liwanagan mo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, 
but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus, we celebrate today the great feast of Pentecost. And we heard in our first reading today what happened on that day when the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles who were gathered in Jerusalem. According to our first reading, tongues as of fire descended on each one of them. May bumaba mula sa langit na tila baga mga dilang apoy at nanahan sa mga alagad ni Jesus. And with the celebration today of the descent of the Holy Spirit, we conclude the Easter season. Mahaba-haba ring panahon ito sa simbahan simula noong Pasko ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon hanggang ngayon na linggo ng Pentecostes. The descent of the Holy Spirit is the crowning conclusion of the Easter season because the gift of the risen Lord is the Holy Spirit. Kung hindi ipinadala ni Jesus ang Espiritu Santo, kulang ang kanyang misyon. Ang kaganapan ng misyon ni Jesus ay hindi lamang yung mga ginawa niya sa mundong ito, kundi sa kanyang pagbalik sa Ama na ipinagdiwang natin noong isang linggo, isusugo ng Ama sa ngalan ni Jesus ang Espiritu Santo na siyang mananahan sa simbahan hanggang sa wakas ng panahon. Without the Holy Spirit, Jesus would remain a memory of the past. Kung walang Espiritu Santo, si Jesus ay ginugunita na lamang kung paano nating inaalala ang mga bayani o ang mga kapatid nating yumao. Kung wala ang Espiritu Santo, makakalimutan na natin ang lahat ng ginawa at itinuro ni Jesus. Kung wala ang Espiritu Santo, wala ding simbahan. Kung wala ang Espiritu Santo, hindi natin masasabi na magpasahangga ngayon, kapiling natin ang Diyos. At kung wala ang Espiritu Santo, baliwala din ang ating pananampalataya. St. Paul in our second reading today said, No one can profess that Jesus is Lord if not by the Holy Spirit. Ang lahat ng nangyayari sa ating buhay at sa buhay ng simbahan at ang pananatili ng Diyos magpasahang ngayon sa ating piling ay dahil sa Espiritu Santo. And Jesus in our Gospel today tells us that the Father will send the Holy Spirit in His name to teach us everything and to remind us of all the things that He had told us. Yan pala ang isa sa mga gawain ng Espiritu Santo Ayon kay Jesus, the Holy Spirit will teach us everything. And the Holy Spirit will remind us 
of everything that Jesus told us. Ang Espiritu Santo ang magtuturo sa atin ng lahat ng bagay at ang Espiritu Santo ang magpapaalala sa atin ng mga itinuro ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, we need the Holy Spirit to teach us because the truth is, we do not know everything. Marami tayong hindi alam, kaya kailangan tayong turuan. At kailangan nating magpakumbaba na aminin na talagang hindi naman lahat alam natin. Kailangan natin ng tulong ng Espiritu Santo para natin maunawaan ang mga bagay sa mundong ito at ang mga bagay na makadiyos. We need the Holy Spirit not only to teach us everything, but to teach us the right things. The Holy Spirit will teach us everything, but the Holy Spirit will only teach us the right things. Ang itinuturo ng Espiritu Santo ay yung mga bagay na tama, mabuti, at totoo. Ang problema naman talaga sa atin ay hindi yung wala tayong alam. Sa katunayan, marami tayong alam. Lalo na sa panahon, ng, panahon ngayon ng social media, we are bombarded by so much information every single day. Ang dami-dami nating alam. Kaya hindi yung pagkakaroon ng alam ang problema. Ang problema ay ito. Ang hindi natin alam kung yung alam natin ay tama at totoo. Kaya kailangan natin ng Espiritu Santo. It's not just a matter of knowledge, of information. It's a matter of whether what you know is right and true. Maraming tao ang maraming alam, pero mali ang alam. Maraming tao ang maraming alam, pero kasinungalingan ang alam. Maraming tao ang matalino, pero yung talino ginagamit sa paggawa ng kasamaan. Kaya kailangan talaga natin ng Espiritu Santo. Hindi lamang yung alam ko, kundi yung alam ko ay tama at totoo. Dahil ang kaalaman na hindi totoo ay hindi tunay na kaalaman. Ang kaalaman na hindi totoo ay kahangalan. Kaya magandang itanong po sa atin, mga minamahal na kapatid, yung mga bagay na alam mo, saan mo natutunan? Sa Facebook? Sa Twitter? Sa Instagram? Sa kapapanood ng YouTube at TikTok? Ipinagmamalaki natin yan na ating alam? O yung bang mga bagay na alam natin ay itinuro sa atin ng Espiritu Santo? Bagay na tama, kaalaman na totoo. The Holy Spirit will teach us everything, every right thing. The Holy Spirit will not only teach us everything, but according to Jesus, the Holy Spirit will also remind us of the things that Jesus told us. Ipapaalala sa atin ng Espiritu Santo yung mga bagay na alam na natin, pero baka nakalimutan natin. Napakadami kasi nating nakakalimutan. Napaka makakalimutin natin. 
We forget things unintentionally, but we also forget things deliberately. May pagkalimot na hindi sinasadya. No? Pasensya na, nakalimutan ko talaga. Pero may pagkalimot na sinasadya. Sinasadyang hindi alalahanin. Sinasadyang kalimutan. Sasabihin natin, ay nakalimutan ko. Pero alam naman talaga natin. Sabi ni Jesus, Ipapaalala ng Espiritu sa at, Santo sa atin ang mga bagay na nakalimutan natin sinasadyaman o hindi. And the truth, my dear brothers and sisters, is that many things that Jesus said and did, many things that Jesus taught to us are already in us. We know them. Alam natin yung mga tinuturo ni Jesus. Alam natin ang kabutihan. Alam natin ang katotohanan. Alam natin ang tamang landas. Alam natin sa ating konsensya yung tama at mali. Alam natin yung mabuti at masama. Pero may mga pagkakataon na nakakalimutan natin o pilit nating kinakalimutan ang mga bagay na ito. Kailangan natin ng Espiritu Santo upang ipaalala ang mga bagay na itinuro ni Jesus sa atin. I am reminded of a little book by Robert Fulghum entitled, All the Things I Really Know I learned in kindergarten. And this is a very interesting book because the author tells us that many things that we of many lessons that we should know in life have already been taught to us as children. At kung iisipin natin, totoo nga naman, maraming bagay, maraming kabutihan ang itinuro sa atin nung tayo'y bata pa. Pero somewhere along the way, nakalimutan o pilit kinakalimutan. Nung bata tayo, tinuturuan tayong magpakabuti. Pero bakit pagtanda, parang nakakalimutan? Nung bata tayo, sasabihan tayo ng nakatatanda o wag kang gagawa ng masama. Nakikita ka ng Diyos. Nakikita ng Diyos ang lahat ng iyong ginagawa. Naririnig ng Diyos ang lahat ng iyong sinasabi. Pero bakit sa ating pagtanda, niloloko natin ang ating sarili at sinasabi natin, baka hindi naman ako nakikita ng Diyos. Baka makapagtatago ako sa Diyos. Baka may lugar sa mundo na hindi naaabot ng paningin at pandinig ng Diyos. Noong bata tayo, galit na galit ang magulang natin kapag tayo'y nanloloko, kapag tayo'y nangungupit, kapag tayo'y nananakit ng kapwa. Pero bakit sa pagtanda natin, parang acceptable na, okay na lang, tanggap na yan, ginagawa naman ng karamihan. Ang daming bagay na ating nakalimutan. Kailangan talaga natin ng Espiritu Santo na ipaalala sa atin ang mga basic things sa ating buhay at sa ating pananampalataya. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two possible reasons why people get lost, why people on a journey get lost. Kapag tayo'y naglalakbay, dalawa ang posibleng dahilan kung bakit tayo naliligaw. One reason is because we do not know the way. Naligaw ka kasi hindi mo talaga alam yung daan. Another possible reason is that you forgot the way. Alam ko na yung daan na yan eh, pero nakalimutan ko lang kaya naligaw. 
And in both cases, we need someone to teach us the right way and to remind us the right direction. In our Christian faith, in our life as followers of Jesus, that someone is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we will be lost. Kung wala ang Espiritu Santo, magkakaligaw-ligaw ang buhay natin. But with the Holy Spirit to teach us the right things and to remind us of Jesus, we know that we are on the right path to God's kingdom. Come Holy Spirit, teach us the right things. Come, Holy Spirit, remind us of the lessons that Jesus taught us. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you every day. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Since God endows us with the gift of His own life by imparting the Holy Spirit, let us come to Him with prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let us come to Him alive and free in the Divine Presence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been signed and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that this Church may be united as one body made of many parts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the peoples of the world who do not know God, that the Spirit of Truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the outpouring of the Spirit of peace, that men and women may know the forgiveness of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the community gathered by God, that the Spirit who makes holy our Eucharistic gifts may strengthen and refresh us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the souls of the departed, that they may be made perfect in the life-giving Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father all-powerful, receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit who always dwells within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Yeah. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with their blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you as their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, 
through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, let us now call on the Father as Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayong linggo ng umaga dito sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa, lalo na po sa mga kapatid natin na kasama nating nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapasensya. We also thank our brothers and sisters who are joining us through the live streaming of this Mass. And we also thank the many social media platforms sharing this celebration of the Eucharist. Salamat po sa staff at servants ng Manila Cathedral at sa nag-provide ng sign interpretation sa ating Misa ngayon. Nawa ay pagpalain po tayo ng Panginoon ngayong bagong linggong ito at nawa tulungan tayo ng Espiritu Santo araw-araw. Tawagan natin ng Espiritu Santo upang tayo'y mapunta sa mabuting landas, hindi tayo mapariwara at hindi tayo maligaw. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit now and forever. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light now and forever. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.